Hey there, you're watching Automotive Territory. Even though cruiser motorcycles originated in America many years ago, they have made their way into the hearts of bike riders all over the world and are currently among the best-selling models. With strong low-speed torque, comfortable riding position and often affordable prices, these two-wheelers are perfect for urban riding as well as rolling highways. In this episode, we'll be reviewing the best models from this class that are on sale today. To cater to riders with various skill level and financial muscles, we added bikes suitable for beginners as well as the top-notch power cruisers, which won't be merciful to your bank account. But before we roll, make sure to subscribe to our channel, we have lots of informative automotive content. Enjoy the ride! Yamaha VMAX While conducting the research for this video, we noticed universal love on the web for this beautiful power cruiser from Yamaha. The first VMAX appeared back in 1985, however, the redesigned in 2007 model has barely any resemblance with its ancestor. The legendary status was obtained by this Yamaha model mostly due to the outstanding performance. Before its release, there were simply no muscle cruisers with the same dynamic characteristics, and frankly speaking, there aren't many today. It goes without saying that VMAX's major feature is the 1679cc liquid-cooled 65-degree V4 engine that produces 200 horses and 123 pound-feet of torque. Lightweight aluminum chassis puts the engine low and forward for mass centralization, resulting in a machine designed to handle curves as well as straightways. Borrowing from advanced sport bike technology, VMAX features a slipper clutch, wave-style brake discs, ABS and complete suspension adjustability front and rear. Indian Scout Ever since Polaris acquired the Indian motorcycle company back in 2011, it has been on the rise bringing rich American heritage and legendary performance to the world. In 2015, the company produced the first new Scout model, inspired by the geometry of the original 1920s bike. The latest model here has a cast aluminum frame and a 1130cc liquid-cooled V-twin that delivers 100 horsepower and 72 pound-feet of torque. It is easy to maneuver due to its lightweight chassis, 23.5 inches seat height and low gravity center. The Scout is equipped with a 6-speed transmission fully engaged during acceleration and cruising at highway speeds. The bike has several color scheme options, genuine leather seat, and is compatible with a wide range of authentic Indian motorcycle accessories. Harley-Davidson Street Bob Though motorcycle enthusiasts often complain that any bike that has an HD badge on it will inadvertently be overpriced, the recently introduced Street Bob that comes to replace the Dyna lineup definitely bumps up riders' interest in Harley-made cruisers. The bike is built on the all-new, reinvented, lighter and stiffer frame with a classic soft tail design. In its chest beats a new heart, the powerful, smooth-running big twin Milwaukee 8107 engine with 1746cc displacement, crisp throttle response and pure rumble. Even though the Harley still insists on using a non-adjustable front suspension, the new Showa dual bending valve stems on the street bob provide acceptable linear damping while the adjustable rear monoshock allows for dynamic cornering capability. The new Bob gets standard LED Cyclops headlight, digital instrumentation, keyless ignition and USB charging port, but the ABS option comes at additional $795. Indian Chief Dark Horse The name of this motorcycle says it all. It aspires to be the leader of the cruiser kind, and indeed it has all the right chops to be one. At its core is a legendary, award-winning Thunder Stork 111 V-twin engine inspired by the Power Plus motor of the 1940s. At low RPM, it produces 119 pound-feet of torque and with a 6-speed transmission has power to spare in every gear. To enhance your emotions of riding this bike, a dual exhaust system was developed to add a throaty note to the classic style. The modern tech that needs mentioning includes standard ABS brakes, massive 46mm front fork, cruise control, internally wired handlebars, and keyless ignition. However, all the features aside, what truly really makes the Indian Chief Dark Horse stand out is the matte black paint scheme that will definitely turn heads. Yamaha Bolt 
quite similar to Harley-Davidson cruisers in terms of overall appearance. This Yamaha is a beautifully built motorcycle with a classic bobber style. The Bolt uses modern technology to create riding experience superior to other similarly sized machines. It has ideal dimensions, good for both novices and experienced riders. The Bolt is equipped with a 942cc air-cooled V-twin, sophisticated twin-pore fuel injection and a 5-speed wet-clutch transmission. Fuel injection and ignition timing maps have been chosen specifically for this bike to deliver class-leading performance with strong low- and mid-range torque. For riders who value personalization, the options for the Bolt are limited only by the owner's imagination, and it is perfect for customization without limits. With a starting price of $8,000, Yamaha Bolt has an ideal combination of cost, design and performance capabilities to become your favorite everyday computer. Kawasaki Vulcan S one of the lightest cruisers in the company's lineup, this ErgoFit motorcycle weighs only 498 pounds and is undeniably appealing for riders of different stature and experience. Vulcan S has adjustable footpacks and handlebars and comes in three configurations with extended, mid or reduced reach. The bike is equipped with a Ninja-derived 650cc twin-parallel engine and a 6-speed transmission. It has easy handling and ample torque of 46 pound-feet. The top speed of 106 miles per hour makes it perfect for conquering highways. Vulcan's most distinctive features include a 3.7 gallon tier drop fuel tank, a signature triangular headlight, LED taillight, and blacked out mirrors. The new Vulcan S is covered by the company's 12 month limited warranty and has a very moderate start price of $7,100 and can be purchased with or without the anti lock braking system. If you're still with us, you must be a true motorcycling junkie. So how about checking out our videos about the fastest motorcycles of today, or maybe electric ones? The links are in the description and the info card above. Let's keep rolling. Triumph Rocket 3 Roadster With the world's biggest production motorcycle engine, the latest Rocket 3 Roadster built on the huge performance of the original Rocket 3, but now with even more torque. The capacity of this bike is 2.3 liters, which could actually embarrass some pretty big cars. The power output equals to 148 horses and 163 pound-feet of torque at just 2750 rpm, effectively more torque than many superbikes have to offer. The Roadster is built on the rigid tubular steel twin spine with great balance at low speeds and neutral steering on twisty roads. The highway is lit by signature massive twin headlights Front suspension is represented by a KYB 43mm upside-down fork and the rear is an adjustable 105mm travel KYB spring twin shocks. ABS brakes comes a standard. After all, it is a massive bike that needs and comes with huge amounts of control. Harley-Davidson Iron 883 As one of the most beloved cruisers out there, the new Iron 883 continues the tradition of the Sportster line, both performance and design-wise. The bike has a rolled leather Sportster seat and fits a classic peanut tank with a 3.3-gallon capacity. It has low-profile LED turn signals and taillight that complement the overall look. 883 is not massive, the length is only 85.8 inches and the wet weight stands at 564 pounds. It is an 883cc air-cooled fuel-injected engine that squeezes out 54 pound-feet of torque and does well during acceleration. With a 28-degree max tilt, the cornering comes easy. But the best part of the 883 is that the exterior can be customized and the parts, including the motor, could be upgraded to suit your personality and deliver a faster and mightier ride. The pricing on this 2018 Harley is not much different from the last year, starting from $9,000 in the US. Triumph Bonville Bobber The British brand Triumph is in a serious role, with their latest Bonville Bobber selling well across the globe. The mean-looking naked design and the single-seat style give the toughest impression when Bobber hits the road. Since it is a larger motorcycle showing 500 pounds in scales, it requires a more powerful 1200cc displacement parallel twin engine. 
The output equals to 77 horses and 78 pound-feet of torque, certainly enough to push the two-wheeler forward. The only downside of this motorcycle is the $12,000 price tag, however it should still be a perfect fit for a serious rider who strives for calm and confident highway conquests. Ducati X Diavo The sun conventional cruiser combines the best features of the two worlds. As a typical Ducati bike, it packs decent power, demonstrates thrilling performance and has sporty design. And as a cruiser bike, it easily fits a driver and a passenger due to its signature body structure, has long foot bags, quality materials and abundant torque. Ex Diavo is equipped with a new 152 horsepower Testa engine in a 6-speed transmission. Weighing only 544 pounds with a full tank, the bike delivers smooth and relaxing ride at low speeds and has astounding performance at higher speeds. When it comes to turning corners, it will surprise you with a 40-degree maximum lean. The only downside is a steep price that in the US starts from $20,445 plus shipping and taxes. And a little bonus. Honda Rebel The Honda Rebel was redesigned just recently in 2017, receiving a modern look, technology updates and a brand new engine. It comes in two modifications, a 300 version and a 500, with a major difference being the powertrain. It is worth noting that despite the Rebel 300s being the perfect entry-level motorcycle, Experts do recommend aiming for the more powerful 500 version right away. The 471cc displacement engine with 46 horses and 33 pound-feet of torque is humble enough to be controlled by a novice and at the same time it's really all one might need for comfortable cruising, while the 300 modification will be outgrown way too fast. The bike will be ideal for a short rider with a 27.2 inches seat height Brakes offer adequate stopping power in both standard and ABS configurations, and the 4.8 inches travel fork ensures good support. We do want to hear your verdict about our cruiser lineup. Did we miss some of your favorite motorcycles? Tell us which ones those are in the comments below. Do not forget to watch other videos about bikes on our channel. The links are on the screen. Make sure to subscribe for more informative content about the exhilarating automotive world. And as always, may the torque be with you!